going on? I want to give props to one of my favorite basketball players uh, growing up, and also a guy that Charles Barkley called the toughest guy he had to go against, and it was Kevin McHale. And Kevin McHale, he echoed my sentiments. He says the Bulls complain all the time, and he said that Jordan the Bulls actually look soft here, crying about Detroit Pistons, and I agree. I've been waiting for somebody to speak it. Because every team had to go through another team's style of play or what they did and what have you. And how could they keep up? What could they do? And um, Mikhail, remember he closed on Kurt Rams back in 84. Changed that series. The Celtics won that series. Because Larry Bird called the Celtics soft. He called his own teammates soft. See, a lot of stuff where it gets the narrative gets flipped. And a lot of people realized realize that the Celtics predated the Pistons. Isaiah took some cues from what Boston did, you know. And the thing is, is that you had to go against a certain brand of ball. People play hard and stuff, you know. I always had a problem with Michael Jordan disrespecting the Pistons championships, saying they didn't represent what was there. He's, he almost was talking like he was the commissioner. He was almost talking like he was in charge of how things should be. And he did. Now, I ain't with all the clothesline and stuff, certain tactics, but as far as hitting guys and having contact, ain't no wrong with that. You know, basketball today is Twinkies. I'm sorry. It's a Twinkie league. A lot of turkeys can throw 20 up, throwing threes up, doing this and any other. But how many of them can actually play? How many of them are actually championship worthy? You know, the NBA's had an agenda. And they wanted to set an agenda. And, and that's also politicking. People always used to say, oh, well, if you win, that's all that matters. Well, Isaiah Thomas won on different levels, and he didn't get half the endorsement or anything. You know, you couldn't even get a Kool-Aid uh, commercial endorsement. Okay, so let's be real. But anyway, <clears throat> I agree with Kevin McHale. You know, no one's saying nothing against Jordan's greatness as a player, one of the best to ever do it. However... They did complain. They were crying. Scottie Pippen cried. They all cried. Ironically, they got Dennis Rodman, which <laughs> contradicts a lot of what they say. One thing about this documentary that has come out is that they made the Bulls look petty, narcissistic, self-centered, and the marketing aspect. Why they were a great team and a great and great players and etc. Phil Jackson, great coach, etc. They do look come across petty narcissistic, self-indulgent, and just seem like they're stuck in trying to find something to, to like they're like they're defiant, that like they're so defiant in what they believe in, right or wrong. But I'm glad Kevin McHale said it. Because they used to beat Chicago's behind. You know, Jordan went off, they still beat their behind. And that never gets talked about. And it's not good to see a lot of complaining. But this is what the NBA actually what a lot of Jordan did is one of the reasons why I've said before, I've seen great players from, from from the 90s onward to now. I've seen great players. I haven't seen a lot of great teams, per se. And I've seen a lot of crying, which is enable the soft, tender, cotton candy basketball we got now. Jordan a lot, Jordan's the one who pushed that agenda, if you think about it. <clears throat> you know, the Pistons actually, Isaiah, I said this before, he was always like a bigger version of Isaiah Thomas because Isaiah Thomas to me was the most important player to Michael Jordan in the NBA. Bar no one else. All due respect to Bird Magic, whoever she want to throw in there, it was Isaiah Thomas because they whipped their behind, get in, the, get in the weight room, and step your game up. Stop crying. And they know they had to beat them. And that's what it meant. Stop being soft. That's what's missing today, really. Kevin McHale told it 100. He kept it 100. All right, but give me your thoughts. It takes about Kevin McHale saying the Bulls come off soft in the documentary, which I do agree. I co-signed him, and he was one of the greatest players ever. Hit the like and subscribe and the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And some, and you have to go back and look things for where they became because sometimes you see patterns there. I'm out.